Welcome back to our video tutorial series where we are learning how to create Minecraft worlds using Python code. In this lesson I'm going to show you how to create this pyramid as you can see on your screen at the moment. Bit of a random object to build in our worlds but I'll show you some fancy little pieces of code to get this pyramid made. Alright, so let's get started by jumping over to Mew which is our Python editor. And the first thing you want to throw in are those usual first two lines of code where we import all the functions from the Minecraft module and we also connect Mu and Minecraft up so they're talking to each other. The next couple of lines we throw in are just clearing the world so we end up with an empty canvas each time we run our code. So save that once you've got those few lines of code in. It's going to be called number 16 pyramid. And give it a run and you should just get yourself an empty world. Okay, so if you go for a quick look around, you'll have your clean slate to work with. Alrighty, so let's get started on making this pyramid now. First thing we're going to do is make a list of the materials we need to build the pyramid. So I'll just put a comment that says build materials. We're only going to use the one today, which is sandstone. And the sandstone block, its block ID is number 24. So inside the variable called sandstone, put the block ID number 24. Uh, now the next section I guess you could call the dimensions, so I'll put a comment here. Um, we're going to have a height of our, in our pyramid of 10. Okay, and the same goes for the levels here. Now this levels um, variable that I'm going to create is going to use some pretty fancy code that I, I guess I don't fully understand myself. I have flogged it off the internet, um, but it works. So just copy it in, and I'll try and keep it very simple when I explain what's going on. We're going to write the word reversed which is going to count something backwards. Okay, and what we're going to be starting at today, if we open up some brackets here, is the word range and then height. So we're going to be starting at the variable heights number, which is 10. Okay, and it's going to count backwards. That's what the reverse thing's doing. And range simply says we're going to be counting one step at a time. So as we build our pyramid, it's going to be um, starting at 10, then 9, then 8, then 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 all the way until it gets to the tip of the pyramid. Okay, so I didn't explain that very well, but basically we're counting backwards from 10. I might even put a little comment in here. I was, whoops, I'll just say count backwards from 10. That's what that line of code is doing. And we're gonna use that um, variable levels in just a moment to help build our pyramid. All right, so let's keep moving on. The next thing we need to do is just set our coordinates for where we would like to build our pyramid. So x is going to be equal to 0, y is going to be equal to 1. We're just going to come up above ground level. That's why the y is equal to 1. And the z will equal 0 as well. So by having x and z axis at 0, that puts us in the middle of the Minecraft world to build today. And the final thing we're going to do is build the pyramid. So let's put in a comment that says build the pyramid. And for this we're going to use a loop. Basically, we're going to be doing one slab of the pyramid at a time. So there's 10 slabs that we're going to build in this pyramid, so 10 layers, and they just get a little bit smaller each time we build it. So here's the code to do that quite simply. So it's for i in levels. Let me put a colon. So what we're doing is we're running a loop, and it loops over the numbers in the levels variable here. So remember, the levels starts at 10 and then counts backwards all the way down to 1. Okay, so we've got 4i in levels. That means we're basically going to loop this um, bit of code 10 times. And we're going to, first of all, set some blocks down. So mc.setBlocks. And now you need to give um, Minecraft the coordinates where you want to set the blocks for each slab in the pyramid. So we're going to start with x minus i. y is going to stay as it is. And z minus i. So the starting coordinates, put the number 1 there by mistake, is going to be x minus i. So for the first slab that's at ground level, i is going to be set to 10. Remember, we're counting backwards from 10. So it'll be x minus 10. So we're moving over to uh, the left on the x-axis by 10 spaces. And then on the z-axis, we're going to move 10 spaces as well. Okay, so we're going to be making this big square along the bottom um, of our pyramid. So that's the start of it. And then we've got to put in the ending coordinates. So we're going to do x plus i, which is x plus 10. So in total, we're going to be 20 blocks across on the base of our pyramid. y is going to stay as it is. 
and then Z plus I in whoops, not one. I keep pressing the one for some reason. Z plus I brings us out another 10 spaces on the Z axis. So again, the other side of our pyramid from the X axis, the Z axis now, is going to be 20 blocks along as well to start with. All right, the last thing you've got to put in is just sandstone. Close your brackets up. And that's basically it to build the pyramid, um, or the pyramid's base. We do want to go up in the air each time we build a layer in our pyramid. So we need to change the Y value here. So we need to do Y equals Y plus 1. So that just says each time we build a slab, which is that first line of code here, we then move up one on the Y axis, which moves us up a layer in the air. And then we can run this code again. And remember, each time we loop through this, it starts at 10. So we start with 10 for the value i. And the second time we loop through it, it counts backwards. So it goes to 9. So the i's will be replaced with 9's. And then it will drop down to 8's, 7's, 6's, and so on until we get to the tip of the pyramid. Okay, so that's basically the code to make your pyramid. So let's save it, give it a run. And you will hopefully see when you click into your world, a pyramid appear. Now, if you want to see that work a little bit slower, I'm going to just do something fancy here. You don't have to copy this code, okay? This is just me showing you something. I'm just going to import the time function at the top here. And each time we build a layer, I'm just going to do time.sleep and put one second. So this line of code is just going to slow my build process down. So you can see each slab of the pyramid get built as the code runs. So it starts at the bottom one. Oh, it's a little bit laggy here with my computer, but you can see it going there now. And that's the loop in action. Okay, it is running this line of code, lay one slab of the pyramid, and it's moving up one in the air. It waits one second and then comes around and does it all again. And it just keeps looping those three lines of code until it gets to the very tip. And that's it. So I'm going to delete that time.sleep. You don't need that in your code. I was just doing that to show you in slow motion how the pyramid's built. That's how your code should look. So once you've got that, save it up and you are finished.